In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly make a stunning website using Wix. Wix can be a great way to create and manage a website for your business, blog, or e-commerce platform, all without using any custom code. Wix is easy to use, but can be intimidating when you're just getting started. That's why we're doing this together. Let's go. We're going to cover signing up with Wix, choosing a template for our Wix site, introducing the Wix site builder, using Wix artificial design intelligence, also known as the ADI, customizing your Wix site, publishing your Wix site, and managing and updating your Wix site. First, we need to go to Wix.com. Once you're there, click the Get Started button. Choose to either sign up or continue with Facebook or Google, whatever works best for you here. A questionnaire will ask you a handful of questions. After you finish answering all of these questions, you'll get started building your site. First, you need a template. You could also use the AI-powered website wizard called the ADI that we previously mentioned, which will automatically create a site for you. We'll actually talk about that here in just a second. By clicking the blue Start Now button, you'll be taken to the Wix template directory. Browse through the templates and figure out which one works best for you. Wix shows you templates based on your answers to the previous questionnaire. This is to reduce the amount of themes that you have to look through to narrow down your choices. If you're still searching through too many templates, you can narrow the results down further by searching keywords. Searching terms like food and tech could help you find the right results you're looking for. To get a better look at each of these themes, you can hover over it and then click the View button. If you've got experience building websites, then you may want to start with a blank template instead. These templates provide a basic layout for your site and leave the rest to you. You can also build a Wix site from a blank slate and no template at all. We don't suggest this unless you're pretty good with Wix and website design in general. So after you've chosen your theme and click the edit button, you'll be taken to the Wix drag and drop builder. So let's take a quick tour of the dashboard so you don't feel as lost. In the top left is where you have your account menu. In the top right, these buttons actually control your site. The save, preview, and publish buttons are here. Under those first bars is actually a secondary bar that lets you manage your layers, undo, redo, your page selection, and more. In fact, you can actually change what's in this menu as you want. In the center of the screen is your real-time preview of how your site looks. It will update constantly as you change things around. In the center, but on the left side, this area is where you'll spend a lot of time editing and adding pieces onto your website. These will be things like menus, pages, adding apps, media, and more. On the right center, this area is all about site design. It's a fully mobile box that can be drug around your screen as you please. This is the home for tools like alignments, copying, pasting, resizing, flipping, rotating, and more. So now let's talk about using the artificial design intelligence, also known as the ADI. Using this is a great way to have a site automatically created for you. The ADI system will begin by asking you more questions on top of that first questionnaire. When I set up my account, I said that I wanted a blogging site. Well, now it's time to narrow it down a little bit further. It's going to ask me what kind of blog do I want. As you start typing here, it will try to autofill for you. Then the ADI will suggest some features for your website. This is usually subscription list, booking, video, groups, reservations, forms, and a lot more. Continue through this process until you reach the end. You'll name your blog, have the option to import info and other blogs, enter your phone number and other personal details, and choose a theme. Now it's time to make your site your own. If you click on the site header, it will allow you to change it as you want. If you click the Change Header Design button, it will give you even more creativity in setting up your header. It's possible to change things like the entire design, color, opacity, and so much more. These changes will happen automatically as you make them, and you'll be able to see them in that center screen. Play around with these features and see what you can come up with. See what you like, see what you don't like, and see what will work best for your site. We will go more in depth on how to customize your Wix site in the article that pairs with this video. You can find a link to it in the description down below. For now, we're going to move on to publishing our site. Once you're happy with how your site looks, go ahead and click the publish button at the top right corner. You'll then be met with a message that says site has been published. Wix will also provide you with a link to where you can find and look at your site. Now you've got a choice to make. You can either continue with a free Wix account or choose to upgrade your account. If you want to remove Wix ads, use your own domain name, or have functionality like an online store, you'll need to upgrade. 
You can upgrade your account by clicking the upgrade link in the main menu of the site builder. Premium Wix subscriptions range from $4.50 to $24.50 a month for basic sites and $17 to $35 a month for business or e-commerce sites. Yearly subscriptions are 50% off right now. However, if you miss this, Wix normally offers a percentage off when you commit to a year in advance anyway. Aside from upgrading your site, you can find most other options for your site in the settings link found in the main menu of the editor. You can easily add new blog posts from the blog manager option. This will take you to the blog manager where you can manage other posts and create new ones. And you guys now have your own Wix site. Don't forget to check out that article that's linked in the description down below that goes with this video. It goes into a little bit more depth on some of the topics that we've covered. Also subscribe to the channel so you never miss one of our design bombs. And if you have any issues or have any questions for us, leave them in the comments down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.